Five coming at you. Another black glove with no gloves. Let me get my black gloves. Hold on one second. Oh wow, that's just like, woo. So this is what happened. You see that? This has been giving us some issues. So I'm imagining there's some type of screw or little bolt that's missing. This literally just came out the lock. Um, we'll skip my black gloves. We'll go ahead and get at it. I don't know what would be wrong with this, but we're gonna see. Super loose. sure this connects to that yeah so that got loose it's probably supposed to be like that and then as it turns it it makes it. sense so. alrighty postpone This is the tricky part. Whoa. I wonder if you do the silver part first and then you put the black thing on last. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just trying to get an idea of how it's going to... Yeah. This is something you would have a RV repair shop do. I tend to try to fix things myself. Fix the storage one. But we just haven't been doing door handle maintenance a lot lately. I haven't tightened it. I've neglected it. And here it is. Biting me. So this little booger I think is supposed to go. God. Needle nose stuff. There it is. See how that goes people? That is what I'm assuming that came out because it was so loose because of these screws. That back on. Can you hold that, dear babe? Just hold that. Like that. Sorry about that. <laughs> and that's what happens with our dogs. Anytime they see somebody talking to me, they're jealous. Miko. All right, so I think it was that. I think this is gonna fix it. I'm not sure, we're gonna see. But well, we need a lock on this door. We are going to be staying here for four days, um, but... We're on the beach, by the way. Yes, we drove an hour to Magnolia. We are now on another beach for free. Um, this one has 70 degree weather all week. That's how we make decisions. Yeah, we followed the good weather. How does this do? All right. <laughs> that, my friends, is how Daniel takes care of business. I fixed it, babe. Yay! 
Good job. You're amazing. You don't want to be a rocket science to take some screws apart. I know out there, other RVers, <laughs> like it's nothing that big of a deal, but hey, it's my first door handle safe. I saved the door handle. I didn't have to spend money. Like I said, you got to have your tools with you on the road. Perfect. Nice work. So yeah, usually for all our RVers out there and like newbies getting out here, just kind of like we are. I mean, we're we've been in this thing for almost half a year now, but um, traveling, we've been yeah. going for about six or seven weeks. Yeah, but we've been living in it full time for quite a while. Um, I've never done this day in my life, but don't be intimidated by it. It's just components. I'm not an engineer brain, but I can see where things went before I put them. Play with it. Worst case, worst case scenario, you order a new part and you get to pay and fix it. So when things like this happen on the road, don't get upset. But have some tools. Have all the tools you think you need and some you don't know if you need. But that is way better. So. And if something's getting loose, maybe take a look at it before it breaks. See, she always has to add that <laughs> in. Like she, because you know, that's my job. She hasn't done one maintenance check on this I've, entire thing. Yes, I have. Okay. I fixed the, the cabinet in after the they broke, kitchen. After they broke. It was after they broke. Okay. So it no, you have to slide that two cents in there. Took away from all your good job. Uh uh Alrighty, over out. Hello everyone, we're gonna be cooking shrimp and probably being attacked by birds, I don't know. But we're doing shrimp alfredo. I'm gonna show you my grill set up here. So basically, um, this grill, I'm not able to use on that regulator. It already has a regulator. So I'm having to, um, just disconnect our normal propane and then I have this adapter line and let me get a little closer um, screws right in all right so now it's on birds are trying to get my shrimp.
They can smell it. Shrimp on the beach, free camping. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. beach for the next four or five days. You want to use as little water as you can. <laughs> yeah. <so. clears throat> I'll let you get yours. You can have yours first. Go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Be my pleasure. Is that sauce warm enough? Mm -hmm. So she's getting hurt. Yummy, yummy pasta. Let's let it sit here for a minute. These birds want it right out here. This is our view. So this is a quick tour. This is our sleeping quarters. You got your TV. You got a remote station over there. We usually charge a laptop right here. Um, Corey's belongings, hairbrushes are up there. But usually when we eat, we eat on the bed. We got these wooden, uh, I don't know, table, coffee table? What would you call these? They're serving trays. Yeah, so we got these serving trays, I think from Target. Yeah. And, um, cool thing about these spacing and everyone's like oh it's so tiny how you do it these actually mount right up here so we have it um, when we're not using them they're right up there and they come right down and then uh, one on either side so just to give you an idea I mean we do have a dining room table over there but we have that more set up as an editing desk and the dogs have their side and it's just easier. We all know we eat in the bed dinner <laughs> half the time. So usually, you know, excuse me. I'll sit right here. Corey sits there, vice versa. Or we'll both sit like this probably because we want to see the ocean. So um, we put a mirror in right here. This is where Corey does her getting ready and everything. Um, we love it, but like, look, look at these windows. You see this? <laughs> uh, this is nice. And then, boom. So, you got your screen down. It's really cool. This one opens up just the same, but we're not going to open that all the birds um, but yeah we love it look at look at the yummy yum food
So it's carefully done. But then once you're set, you're sitting on the beach. So 